Hey y'all, let's just jump right into it. Today I'm gonna do a little Princess Polly haul for you. I caved during the queue and decided to do a little online shopping. Had some money saved from Miss Urban Outfitters before they So I thought it was due time to revamp my style for the new season. So I'm gonna show you everything I got from Princess Polly. First off, I've been really into the whole mini skirts trend lately. Like mini skirts with like a clunky white sneaker, uh, maybe a bodysuit of some sort. So first I got this black mini skirt that just kind of has this floral-ish print. I don't really know how else to describe it. It's really velvety and lifted, as you can see, and it has this nice little cute detailing. So I thought it'd be really cute with like a black bodysuit or maybe even just like a white crop top of sorts. You know, no one's really gonna see it, except maybe the gram. I thought I would just try to emulate my dream Pinterest outfit board. So I got these two silky skirts that have a little bit of a floral print on it. I'll link below like how much everything costs. I think usually the skirts are like $40. So it all ends up being pretty expensive, but I did use Afterpay, so it makes me pay in increments every other week. So it's just cute little mini skirt with red flowers and a like baby pink background. And then another skirt that's the same, but different with the red flowers and the pink. This has been all over Princess Polly's Instagram and I just love it. This is definitely my favorite find from this video. I'm so obsessed with it and I'm gonna wear it to all the events once things open back up. Okay, skipping over to tops, I kind of wanted to get stuff to make a full outfit. So like I said, I thought a lot of those skirts would be really cute with like a nice little bodysuit. A black bodysuit is always a classic. So I got this bodysuit from Princess Polly. It just has this kind of rouged top at the part where it's kind of like a bra situation. It's just black and really elastic so it sucks you in. And then I also got this white crop top that just has these little, I think they can be off the shoulder or on the shoulder, white uh, kind of ruched crop top. If you can see the detail at the bottom, it flutters out a little bit so it's really flattering to the waistline. Then going out of my comfort zone a little bit, I want to try and change my style up. And these maxi skirts have really been in either with, you know, once again, like a clunky white sneaker or some Doc Martens. I thought that'd be super cute. And I just have this like auburn, is that the color? Goldish brown one that has a nice little slit in the side. And then I also have this purple floral one. Uh, which is also from Motel Rocks. If you get these skirts, I would size down because I'm a 12 usually in the mini skirts, but I'm a 10 in the maxi skirts because they run a little big. Uh, just be sure to read the reviews, but this is, they're both definitely trustable sites. And I actually think that the longer skirts are less expensive on Princess Polly. Continuing with the goal of trying to get, you know, a little bit out of my comfort zone, I decided to get some biker shorts, which I was really nervous about for a very long time. I didn't want to buy any because I just didn't know how they'd flatter my body, but these ones are cheetah print from Princess Polly. I thought, you know what, why not send it? I'm already here spending my coin, which is maybe not the best mindset, but I had to treat myself in a while, so I got these nice little biker shorts, and I really actually love them. But it, it's kind of, it's not spandexy, so it doesn't like suck you in, but it still clings to your body nicely in like a flattering way, and they don't rise up, which is really nice. So when I go on walks in them, they aren't like going up my thigh at all, and I don't have to adjust a lot. And I like to wear this with like a nice oversized graphic tee, some white sneakers. We see the trend here. We see, you know, kind of the path I'm going towards. And so to keep up with that, I super duper caved and I bought some Windsor Smith. Yeah, some Windsor Smith platform shoes. They're really cute. I'm honestly obsessed with them. It takes a minute to break in. So I definitely like do the whole like fuzzy socks with a blow dryer when you first wear them to loosen them up a little bit. Uh, I'm a size 10, but they were a little tight. They have this cute little longhorn detailing, which is their logo, and they give me a nice little bit of height uh, for some reference. I am 5'7", I think, 5'6", five, 5'7", five, and I'm a size 12 in the mini skirts and a size 10 in the longer skirts, and I like to just get a size 12 in the tops because I am a little bit bustier. But yeah, I highly recommend these shoes. They go with everything, and it just makes the outfit a little, you know, it makes me feel a little bit more put together. Just something different from my regular Air Force Ones. So yeah, that was a nice short little Princess Polly haul for y'all. I do be Dr. Seuss though. 
Okay, y'all, a few side notes. First of all, highly recommend these clothes because I literally put this back on because it's so comfy. I feel like I can gallivant around the city and still be really fashionable and cute. Go get another YouTuber's promo code. I used McKenna something's promo code. It was like 20% off, so I saved a lot of money. And also, their shipping is super fast. It was like free shipping two to three days, uh, even during everything going on right now. I got everything like this. So, go get you some goods. Yes, and thanks for watching the haul. See y'all later. I spent about $300, which is quite a lot. So I really suggest using Afterpay because I'm paying in increments like every two weeks and that really just makes it feel a lot better for my bank account. Just be smart and don't get, you know, too comfy with it. So yes, hope y'all enjoyed. Hope you liked this short little Princess Polly haul. Let me know what you think. If you guys have any suggestions, any style tips, all that good stuff. You can follow me on Instagram at rachelpack16. Follow my Pinterest if you like. I have some fun boards from glam to Insta to Minecraft ideas. You know, it's all encompassing. Also, please bear with me right now as I'm kind of trying to figure out what kind of content I want to create. It feels really fulfilling to just create right now. Um, but I was doing vlogs. Obviously, I don't think my vlogs would be the most entertaining because it's like me waking up, watching Parks and Rec, making avocado toast, going back to sleep. So, just cool with me for right now as we're going through it. We're figuring out, we're trying different things, we're having fun, and I will catch y'all in the next episode. Episode, video, bye.